hello everyone how are you doing today i am constance your girl constance thank you for joining me in my next in the next episode of my english class sorry about that thank you for joining me in the next episode of my english class subscribers i thank you and i appreciate you, all of you for supporting this channel we are we are growing we have gone up to a thousand over a thousand subscribers and it's all because you have taken the time to watch these videos subscribe and leave a comment and partake and I am so appreciative okay in this lesson we're going to be talking about blue idioms right the common denominator in this lesson is the word blue all right so you will see blue in each of the examples or each sentence all right so that is what what I mean when I say um, common denominator blue blue is in everything here alright so we're gonna be talking about idioms and you know what idioms are they make your conversation or your story comes alive it's the way we express ourselves in a culture right or in a language in a culture or in a language we express we use idioms to express ourselves or a situation alright so let's begin blue color what is blue color relates to a person who does physical work for a living a blue color worker is a person who does physical work for a living example electricians plumbers factory workers all right who else can you think of is a blue color worker an hairdresser um, a fashion fashion designer sew a seamstress all right these persons people who cut the yard they are skilled workers or blue collar workers all right they do their job depend on their physical ability all right so blue collar relates to a person who does physical work for a living all right number two talk a blue streak what does it mean to talk a blue streak to talk quickly and without stopping to talk quickly and without stopping here is an example I have written out for you to talk a blue streak from Jamaica to Johannesburg so Johannesburg is all the way in what South Africa Johannesburg is all the way in South Africa the capital for South Africa right so from Jamaica to jo Johannesburg the woman seated behind me in the aeroplane talked a blue streak the woman seated behind me in the aeroplane flying from Jamaica to to Johannesburg talk a blue streak so she keep on talking and talking from one topic to the next right when is that her husband is the children if it's not the children is her job if it is not this present job it was the last job if it is not the community is her neighbor she keeps on talking and talk. she always has something to talk about right she talks constantly all right so to talk a blue streak to talk quickly and without stopping all right number three blue pencil what does this idiom blue pencil mean to censor something or limit the information being presented to censor or limit the information being presented so to censor something is to what is to edit it right or to summarize it to make a synopsis of it to break it down cut it down lower all right some people on the internet they send you some information and it is an epistle longer than the book of Matthew, mark luke and john put all together right that was oh you have to go and sleep and wake up back to read them some of the information they send you so blue pencil your boss might say blue pencil this information for me she might ask you to give to give a report and the report is so long right 
So she asked QR2 where did she say pencil? Blue pencil the report for me. Alright? So that means to edit it, to censor, to cut it down, to make it smaller. So if someone should use that this idiom to you or this term to you, you say you know what it means, right? It is to censor something or to censor or limit the information being presented, right? Any information being presented is to edit it, right? You know, you are a writer, you have a lot of editors. So sometimes you have to submit your work to have the work edited because sometimes the way you tell a story and matched up with the grammar English, it doesn't work out so well. Sorry, so you have to get someone to edit it. So get the blue pencil. So that is the next way of saying you edit it. All right, number four. Blue eye boy. What it is to be a blue eye boy? To be a to be a blue boy. To be a blue eye boy, not blue eyes. But to be a blue eye, <laughs> to be a blue eye boy, a person is a favorite by someone in authority. Someone who is favorite or favored by someone who is in authority. So someone could be a student, could be favored by their teacher or someone in the political screen say the president favors the governor of a specific state say he, he, the president favor the governor of New Jersey all right so everything he calls upon the governor of New Jersey or he uses uh, uses him as an example for what he's trying to display or what he's trying to bring forward to the nation all right so you say blue eyed boy so a person who is a favorite by someone in authority. So here's an example I've written out for you. Tom is such a blue eye boy. Tom is such a blue eye boy. The teachers always treat him special. The teachers always treat him special. Right? So seven children raise their hands. And the teacher chooses Tom to answer the question. The teacher wants something to be done on the board. She chooses Tom, right? She wants a message to go to the principal office. She asks Tom to do to send that message for her. So that is what it means. Blue eye boy, a person who is a favorite by someone in authority. Where you have been treated as a blue eye boy? To be a blue eye boy or to be called a blue eye boy that does not necessarily means you are a boy you can be a female as well and an adult all right so it doesn't have to be a boy per se but an adult so anyone so a female or a male an adult or a child all right so anyone can be considered a blue eye boy once they are being treated special or they are being favored by someone else who is in authority all right so take a good look at these idioms use them in your writing in your everyday language when you want to gossip this is the gossiping one talk a blue streak that is a gossiping idiom right you say, hmm. Boy, she can't really talk a blue streak, man. All the way from Jamaica to Johannesburg, she keep on talking. Hmm. She really can talk. All right? So you know what are the, what these um, blue idiom means, how to express them in your writing. Guys, I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing, for sharing, for commenting, and leaving your words of love. I hope you will join me in my next class. Until then. You take care of yourself and I hope you'll join me then. Bye-bye.